Hey everybody, it's Abby. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to do a kind of a different video. I don't know if anybody else has done these, but where I did those videos before about the makeup, the brands I no longer support, and also um, I have some products that are not vegan in my collection that I need to either use up, get rid of, or find a replacement for. So I'm going to talk about those products right now. So I have quite a, a list here of products from that I really don't want to use anymore that either they're not vegan or they are um, from brands that are owned by a parent company or brands that I don't believe would be cruelty free because they're not listed on Logical Harmony. So I have the Hangover Primer from Too Faced. I should probably get these out and show you. That might be helpful. So I have the face products in this little thing because I have a lot of them. So this Too Faced Hangover Primer, I've only used this like twice so it's going to be a while before I use this up. I actually might just get destash this one because I don't like these kinds of primers anymore. I prefer the silicone ones. So let me know if you want to see another declutter because I might do that. <laughs> and then I have the optical illusion primer from Urban Decay. I think I might just use this one up because I like the formula of this. I have the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Actually this is in a project pan. I just added it into my project pan roulette. So, and I'm doing the 100 days of makeup right now so this should be gone pretty soon. And one of my most recent foundation purchases, this is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. This will probably go pretty fast too once I start using it because I've only used it like three times and it's already like pretty far down. And I I kind of want to find a replacement for this, but I don't even know if there would be one because I like that it's really thin and it doesn't like cake up or anything. But I've had the custom cover drops from Cover FX and those are really thick, so yeah, I don't think I'll be able to find a replacement for this one. Then I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. So this is a fairly decent concealer. However, I have this one from Wet n Wild, which so I already kind of found a replacement for this one. And this one has more, pro the Wet n Wild one has more product in it. So Wet n Wild one has 0.29 ounces and then this Urban Decay has 0.16. So that's like, not quite double, but almost. <laughs> because you can see this Urban Decay one has like, like the packaging is not full of the product. Like it's got really thick plastic on it. And it's got this weird little thing at the bottom. <laughs> And then I have the HD powder from NYX, so I need to find a replacement for this. I've used the loose one from e.l.f. and I didn't really like it, so I'll have to find a different one. I'm sure there's other brands that make these. I think Wet n Wild has one, but I just didn't get it for whatever reason. Like, I got the this um, colored one instead. But I like translucent powders for setting my under eyes. I think it works a little bit better. But I have loose powders, like from Kat Von D, but... Yeah, I would just like to have a pressed one. And then I have this Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. I, this is in a project pan too, so this should be gone. And I do have a replacement for this, the Kat Von D one, like I mentioned. And then I have these two Tarte blushes. So I have the one in Party from the birthday gift last year at Sephora. And then I have this one called Concept. It's a more nude, like the party one is more pink, I think, and this one's more nude. And I like, I mean, I, I like both of these. I like that they are, well, this one has kind of a sheen to it, but they're more matte. So I think I could probably use these up, honestly. And um, I don't really need a backup, though, or like a replacement, because I have the new Wet n Wild one, and I have my Melania Luminoso. And then I have the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from Tarte. So these, the mini ones, the the other blush and this came from, and also in this powder, um, came from a 500 point perk that I got right before I stopped, I decided to stop using Tarte. I don't know why I did that. And um, this one is pretty good. I go through bronzer actually pretty fast, surprisingly, so I should be able to use this up. And then I have this Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. So Essence is not listed on Logical Harmony, sadly, because their products are so cheap and so good. <laughs> and I, this one is kind of hard for me to use because I, it's like borderline too dark for my skin tone. Like it's not really a highlighter, it's just kind of a shimmer. So 
I don't know, I might find a way to use it like as a light bronzer or something. Maybe. But I know I'm not going to be able to use this up. Like, that's going to take forever. I have another little basket with eye products that are not that I'm not going to use anymore. So I have the NYX Glitter Primer. This is really awesome. However, number one, it's not vegan because it has beeswax. Like, why did... I'm so mad at myself for not looking at the ingredients of this, but... Um... I don't even, I'm sure there is a vegan and cruelty free glitter glue, but I haven't found one yet. I'm just going to keep using this one. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think to keep using it. Like, I just need to find one that I can refer you guys to whenever I do use it. So, yeah, I mean, I will still, I just need a replacement or at least find something to mention, like even if I don't buy it myself. And I don't have it with me. It's actually in my backup drawer. I might use it next, the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. That was my favorite mascara forever, and it was really good, and uh, I need to find a, a better one. <laughs> but, like, the Wet n Wild one I'm using is pretty good, but then I, some of the Pacifica ones are okay. I just wish I could find one that, like, keeps my lashes curled, because they just kind of, like, they'll stay curled for a little bit, and they'll just... Mm. <laughs> then I have another Essence mascara, the Volume Stylist, and I don't think that one's vegan either, like somebody told me it wasn't, so I, I just need to quit buying mascara. <laughs> and then I have this one, the Gifted Mascara from Tarte, that came in that uh, 500 point perk too. I don't know if I want to use this or if I just want to give it to somebody. And then this NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. I I think this is the second one that I've had. Yeah, because the first one I had, like, the cap cracked on it or something. I need to get, like, I know there are replacements for this, but I just need to get one. I don't know... Like, this one is, like, hairspray for your brows, so I need to find something that's kind of similar to that. I mean, I don't really want to shell out for the Anastasia one. Maybe, like, if they have a mini or something. And then, very sad day, the NYX Micro Brow. I've used up, like, literally seven or eight of these at this point. <laughs> um, that's just such an inexpensive dupe for the Anastasia uh, Micro Brow. Did I call this? Or the Anastasia... What's that called? Brow Wiz. There we go. I'm mixing up the names here. Um, I have the Ulta one, which is okay. I'm wearing it today, but it's a different shade. I did a whole video comparing these two. But, I mean, if I use this up, I can still use my Anastasia Dip Brow because I that's like lasts forever. And then I have three of these Essence eyeliners. I have a taupe one, a green one, and a black one. This pains me <laughs> so bad because these are so good and I use these like as bases for smoky eyes and all kinds of stuff. I know Wet n Wild has eyeliners, but I don't think that their pencil liners are vegan. And I know e.l.f. doesn't really have like this much of a color selection. Man, this stinks. <laughs> like, I, like, Essence, please, like, contact Sheena <laughs> so that I can use the products again. Ugh. Then, as far as eyeshadows, I have this Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. That's what that looks like. I've actually had this for a while. This is one of the first, like, higher-end palettes. The first high-end palette that I got was the, the Too Faced Few of My Favorite Things palette from, like, years and years ago, like, Christmas time. And then I got this one. I don't even remember when I got this. It was a long time ago. So I don't know if I should just try to pan it or de-stash it or what. Like, there's dips in some of the shades. I might try to pan this, like, next year, maybe. I don't know. But this palette is not vegan, and uh, Too Faced is owned by a parent company, so that's why it's on this list. And this one I'm working on, it's the Shanxo uh, BH Cosmetics palette. A BH Cosmetics is not owned by a parent company, but they are not certified in Logical Harmony, so it seems kind of shady to me. <laughs> But this palette is vegan, which it, I'm happy about. And um, I am working on panning this, so if you're interested in watching that, um, check out my project or my pan that palette videos. But this one has the eyeshadows on one side and the lipsticks on the other side. And I did want to get the remix of this when I finished this one, but I'm not going to <laughs> because of the brand. Which stinks because BH is a pretty affordable, like extremely affordable, um, makeup brand and they're actually good quality products. And then this one pains me as well is the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. This ginormous palette that has like every color in it. 
there it is. <laughs> I still have those little things where I marked when I did the random color challenge with it. I just marked the shades so I wouldn't forget because they don't have names right next to them. But yeah, I, I'm definitely never going to be able to pan this palette. <laughs> but I will keep it though, I think. I mean, just in case. I'm crossing my fingers that Morphe um, gets certified with Logical Harmony. And then I have these... Wet n Wild lip liners. The Wet n Wild is cruelty free. I don't have a problem with the brand. However, these are not vegan, so I thought they were. I like I didn't, but I didn't see anything in the ingredients. But I looked again, and these have paraffin, and paraffin is not vegan, so really stinks. Uh, these are really good quality, though. I just wish that they were vegan. Darn. <laughs> I was wondering why they didn't have the little V on the packaging because I mean products do. It's because they're not vegan. Duh. Well, they put a V on the packaging if it's not vegan. <laughs> And the last thing is this BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Clara. This is like almost a spot on dupe for Kat Von D Lolita. Um, just thinks because, like I mentioned before about BH Cosmetics, like this is super inexpensive and it's really good quality. Like it lasts just as long as like Jeffree Star Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. And um, yeah, just I wish that BH would get certified with Logical Harmony so I could feel better about using it. <laughs> Yeah, like BH Cosmetics and Coastal Scent. Well, I think BH Cosmetics is doing a little better now than Coastal Scents, obviously. But, yeah, it kind of stinks. And, um, so I, I definitely won't get rid of this because I do like the shade and it lasts forever. And I do have some Morphe brushes. So I have, where did they go? So these two face brushes, this um, one that I use, like, all the time, the G2. And then this one that I hardly ever use, the Morphe M460. And then these two blending brushes, G17 and G24. I got these all, actually I did not get them from Morphe like their self. I got them from Ricky's in New York City when I went there a couple years ago. And I mean, there's good quality brushes. However, I just, I mean, I'm going to continue to use probably... Mostly this brush until I find a replacement for it because this is like perfect for under eye concealer. I don't really care about this brush. Like I don't use it that much at all. And these blending brushes, I got a couple new blending brushes. So like if I'll keep these for a little bit. Then if I end up not using them, I might get rid of them. So that was all the products. Um, I am still going to be using these just because I like I'm trying to slow down and um, focus on my no buy because in February I kind of fell off that train. I got a replacement for some things with the Wet n Wild, but I just can't like throw out everything right now, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to keep using those. Hopefully through my 100 days of makeup and doing more videos and things, um, I'm going to be able to use up a lot of stuff pretty fast. So if you have this video a thumbs up, I thought that was interesting. Um, let me know if you have any replacements for any of the products that I mentioned. So like I'm looking for... The, uh, the NYX HD powder, a cruelty free vegan option for that, and for the glitter glue, and the eyeliners. If you know of any, like, inexpensive, cruelty free, like, certified on Logical Harmony eyeliners, it, not even, like, I don't even think they would have to be drugstore, though, because I don't use eyeliner that much, but when I do, I want it to be a good one. And if you have any suggestions for, like, the big eyeshadow palettes that have a lot of colors, I have the Kat Von D Saint and Center, which is pretty good, but I want one that's, like, Morphe, like BH Cosmetics, like the big ones, you know. I don't know if that exists, like in other brands, but I might have to resort to using single shadows, which I am horrible at that. Like, I'm not good at picking colors, which is why that I use pre made palettes. So, anyways, thanks so much for watching. If you're not already, please subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you then. Bye.